Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. You're looking at the new paper by Zarkova Shepard, Zarkov, and Popova, Oscillations of the Baseline of Solar Magnetic Field and Solar Irradiance on a Millennial Time Scale. Now, for those of you that have read this paper, it is very disappointing to you, I'm sure, if you're hoping this would be a continuation of her most recent work just a few months ago, seven months ago. But before we get into that, let's talk about the history of Zarkova and our channel. One year ago, I called out Valentina Zarkova, Zarkova as a global warmist because the tone and tenor of her voice at that time even though she was claiming grand solar minima based on her spectral analysis of the total solar irradiance data, she still was siding with the warmists. And I explained that this was because of funding. She needed funding. So she had to include that in her mantra. And then guess what happened? Seven months after she got funded for that, she went out on her own and broke out and confirm the grand solar minimum and we're all going to die in 2032. Starved to death. Seven months ago. We have 65,000 views on that. Then we got demonetized. Yeah. There's the pinch point from the 2015 paper in Nature. Zarkova et al. Right there. That's still occurring, folks. But according to her new paper, guess what? Global warming is going to save us. In fact, global warming will continue 2.5C until 2600. Now, this is not because of CO2 and you, folks. It's because of the sun. So at least she gets kudos on that. But for, for those of you that have short attention spans, here is the heartbeat of the sun, which comes from a very beginning of our channel. The super grand minimas in the pinch points here, or the grand solar minimas, whatever. It's, it, we just invented this word. <laughs> uh, and the t total solar irradiance estimated absolute magnitude of solar activity in red. Now, the absolute magnitude of solar activity in red, I don't even know what that means. That's some type of derived number that they called absolute magnitude of solar activity. Anybody's guess what that means? But it, in fact, did peak back in the 90s, and it has dropped off the cliff in the last several years. And we're heading to this grand minima pinch point in just a short period of time. So that's what the paper is saying. But then it, if we come here the, uh, to the baseline magnetic field in blue, you can see that the deepest minima was the Maunder or even the Sporer or earlier, one of these minimas. Here is the Dalton and the Centennial. But the modern upswing warming cycle, the TSI, the sun is going to continue to peak up until about 25, 2600 here. Now, what does that really mean? It means that, you remember those graphs we were seeing a couple years ago that the grand solar minimum is not, is going to be overridden by global warming? Yes, that's what we're seeing here. The grand solar minimum is going to be overridden by global warming, according to this paper. Now, the problem with the paper is that it's spectral analysis. It's simply a... Statistical analysis of TSI, total solar irradiance. It includes no other variability, unfortunately. And we all know when you do that, what you get. You get what you get. Models are for schmodels. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And this is simply a way to get funding and a way to continue her research, which is modeling, mathematical modeling. This is not really helping us 
determine what is actually going to be happening in our future. But I assure you, the grand solar minimum is occurring. It started years ago and we're dropping into it. The next cycle will be even lower and so forth. It's anyone's guess when we'll turn back up. But at the same time, the very same time, the magnetosphere is waning. We are in a magnetic excursion or reversal. It's anyone's guess. And it is accelerating. The effects of this magnetic reversal and excursion will peak based on current projections in two or three decades. According to some like Doug Vogt, 2046 or 7 is the flip point and the catastrophe. Regardless of what all these modelers say, what we've been saying on the channel has always been correct and always come true. Keep following us. Seek truth. Seek knowledge. Be the change you want to see. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. Read the paper. Don't take my word for it. Don't be a sucker. Be a winner.